So I'm here with Scott McGregor, who's the CEO of Broadcom, here in their uh, booth, which is filled of all sorts of different consumer electronics, not to mention ultra HD television, um, 5G, uh, Wi-Fi gadgets. Um, Broadcom is actually integral to how so many of these new devices that are on show at CES actually function because of the chips that it makes. Scott, tell us about some of the big trends that we're seeing here at CES and how Broadcom actually plays a role in that. One of the most visually exciting products we're seeing here at CES is the Ultra HD TVs. They're beautiful TVs, high resolution, and they really show content in a detail people just aren't used to, and I think they're going to really like. Uh, they will come into play uh, as the price comes down on these sets over the next couple of years, but one of the challenges is how do you get the content to the sets? Uh, it's a lot of bits, it's a lot of information, and so one of the things we're doing is developing set-top boxes, uh, developing uh, other ways to get the information you know, from the content providers to your TV set. And so here we have a demonstration of one of the HD, Ultra HD sets, along with a set-top box that would enable a cable provider to get information to you. We'll also work with satellite providers and others. And it's, it's not just Ultra HD TV, we've also got other devices such as 5G, Wi-Fi. Can you tell us about that? Well, one of the other things people like to do to have really fast access to the internet with their laptops or their tablets or their smartphones is what's called 5G Wi-Fi. And that enables people to do things much faster. So it's, it's twice the range, three times the speed, and lower uh, power, which means your battery lasts longer in a smartphone. So we have access points here. These are a lot of our different customers on the wall over here uh, who are creating the access points you can buy today in a retail store. And in the smartphones and tablets, you're going to see those deploy over the course of this year to get that faster Wi-Fi experience. So what this essentially means is just more opportunity for people to stay connected to the internet, to move all applications wirelessly um, in the home, not necessarily just through 3G, but through Wi-Fi networks, through their own hub. Through their own hub. Absolutely, it's not only surfing the net faster, but I think we're going to see people uh, watching video content on their tablets, on their smartphones. If you have a subscription to a cable provider or other things, they're going to have ways to redirect that to your smartphone or to your tablet. So you'll be able to watch you know, TV at, at good quality anywhere in the house, uh, as well as on your TV set. So it really moves where you want to move in the house. One thing that we're hearing a lot about is consumers getting a more immersive experience in mobile tablets, watching films on tablets, more interactive experiences. Um, tell me about, kind of in more practical terms, what Broadcom uh, brings to the table in terms of how it allows consumers to do that. So Broadcom makes all kinds of chips. We're in most smartphones and most tablets today with uh, the technology that lets you connect to the internet. Uh, we also work with video technology and other things. So we're in a lot of those smartphones, a lot of those tablets, uh, and in a lot of the set-top boxes and access points in your house. So we, we provide that basic plumbing that makes all this stuff work and makes that great quality experience you see in the video uh, that has crisp quality, doesn't tear, uh, and really gets the content to the user. Is it that consumers want this? Um, is it the device makers that want to put this in? Or where are you seeing um, the real push and the pressure coming from in, uh, to create these innovations, to create the chips that, uh, that do all that? Well, there's incredible innovation going on now in the connectivity space, in the gadget space. And I think consumers, it's probably the best time ever for consumers. There are more different things to choose from. And I think we're going to try a lot of different business models. We're going to try you know, just watching things on TV, watching content on smartphones, on tablets, uh, taking stuff around the house. Uh, different ways to get the content. You can get it over the internet. You can get it from your cable provider. Uh, you can use Netflix. You can use all different services. So I think all these different services, all these different ways of doing things, it's a great time to be a consumer right now in terms of choice. And you know, our goal is to enable all the gadget makers to make all this stuff possible. Well, Scott, thanks very much for explaining all that.